MMA with attitude came to altitude as the Legacy Fighting Alliance Octagon touched down in Vail, Colorado, LFA 39 from the Dobson Arena. Hey everyone, I'm Ron Kruk, joined as always by the UFC Hall of Famer, Pat Miletic. And Pat, live from over 8,200 feet above sea level, how'd you survive? I tell you what, I started getting a headache during the show. I haven't drank enough water. The altitude's actually starting to affect me. The fighters did great. Amazing, amazing. But you powered through it, man. Yeah, I survived. I Time survived. to go high. That's why he's the Hall of Famer, folks. Incredible action. Five finishes in the seven fights, and we pick it up with the lightweights going at it as Austin Hubbard from Colorado took on Sheriff Deputy Harvey Park. Pat, what a back and forth fight this was. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. We thought it was going to be fight of the night the way they went at it. Both guys exchanged heavy shots, showing that they both can take a beating. Hubbard using his wrestling at times. And I tell you what, nasty elbows from the top. He's got good ground and pound. Entertaining fight, Ron. Hubbard was in trouble throughout that fight, but then turned it on. He gets the unanimous decision victory. To the straw weights in night. And Audrey Perkins taking on 19-year-old phenom Macy Barber. You know, Perkins made a good account of herself in this fight. She really did. This was a back-and-forth battle. But Macy Barber, having worked with Matt Pena for the first time in this camp for this fight, putting together some really, really good combos, showed good boxing skills. And I tell you what, Perkins showed she can take one hell of a beating. She sure can. There's no doubt about it. Macy Barber improves to 4-0. This is all before her 20th birthday. She could be moving on to the UFC next. Remember her name, Macy Barber. The future has arrived. LFA middleweight interim strap up for grabs. Ian Heinish, the Hurricane, and Gabriel Checo. Yeah, when you put two monsters like this in the cage, somebody's going to get rocked. This time it was Checo. Ian Heinish showing, tell you what, he's got massive power, enough power to put anybody away in the world if he lands that right hand. The two-time Colorado State wrestler sticks the landing, improves to 10-1, and, and more importantly, wins the LFA interim middleweight belt, his first MMA title ever. Upcoming events, the countdown has begun and we will preview our 400th show on May 18th, a special edition of Cage Side, and then May 25th, our 400th broadcast on the network. We will follow it up with LFA 41 and LFA 42. And be sure to follow us on social media.